Wondering how everybody gets those signatures in their email? You guessed it. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer. And in order to complete this tutorial, you will have to have completed last week's design. And this week we will be inside of Gmail. So go ahead and go to google.com, log in with your KW email address or any email address that you want to use for your email. And then we are going to click on Gmail. So go straight into Gmail. And then from there, we're going to go into our settings and complete that email signature. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click settings. Oops. I'm going to click settings, see all settings. And I'm going to scroll down to my signature section. Now, if you already have a signature here, you'll, sh it'll show here. But if you have nothing, you may need to click create. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name my today's date. And then I'm going to click create. So now you can see I have an empty canvas here to put my email signature on. Now, if you're in Texas, especially in Houston, you have to put Trek links inside your emails. So I am typing that now. And that would be Trek information about brokerage services. So we have to put those links. So I'm going to have an appointment link on my signature and I'm also going to have information about brokerage services and consumer protection notice. Then I will put that image that I just downloaded underneath thanks. So I've got everything typed out that I want in my signature and now I want to insert that image that I just downloaded from command. I'm going to click on the little photo. It's a square with a mountain. It's the insert image button. Then I'm going to click on upload and then I'm going to select it from my device. I'm going to go and find it from my computer and click open. And now you can see my email signature is in my email signature section. Now in order to add a link, I need to go and get the URL of the link that I want to get. So for this one, I'm going to go on over to AJR. So once I get logged in, we'll go get those links. I'm going to click on my account. I'm going to click on account info. And then I'm going to click on information about brokerage services. The first link here has been created for you. You can preview and see that this is what I need it to be. And it has my information. If you're doing this, it's going to have yours. You're going to click on copy URL. You're going to go back over to your email settings. You're going to highlight this words that you want linked. And you're going to click the little link and click paste. And that's going to put that link in your email signature. You're going to go do the same thing again for the second link. Copy the URL, go back to your email, highlight the words, click the link, paste it in there, and click OK. That has hyperlinked these two lines inside of your email. Now appointments are a little different. So if you have a Calendly created or a Google appointment page, you will go to that like I have right now. I'm going to click copy on the URL and now I'm going to go back to my email click all right I'm going to highlight the words click the link and paste my appointment page in there and click OK and that's it once you're done with this you're going to make sure that your emails are using the correct signature so make sure that you have a signature selected in both of these and then click save changes and now when you click compose your email signature should be inside of your emails. And that's it. Hope you have a great day and I will catch you next week.